Welcome to this week's social media post for the Junior School. Uh, we're delighted to announce that we'll be opening a second prep class next year, so the decision has been taken and uh, we'll be showing you a bit of the prep class, uh, the current one today. And what that means for our school is two classes of prep next year, uh, probably in the mid-teens is where we're aiming at, which is fantastic class size. Um, and those boys are fully immersed in the, the educational program and offerings across our school. So obviously a class teacher for classwork and then the full raft of specialist uh, lessons. So music, library, art, PE, French, Japanese, woodwork, um, learning extension support. Um, so multiple facets um, and fully embraced um, and embedded in the culture of our school. This morning it's my pleasure to visit Mrs Grill's prep classroom and I'll be talking to her about the prep offerings. Uh, Mrs Grills is an experienced educator who's been working at our school for a good number of years. Uh, Amelia is a mother of two boys, both of whom attend our school. Uh, she has worked on our prep year level um, for most of her time here and specialises with this age group. Um, she's one of our housemasters, uh, is a warm, caring person and the, the message that I love that is not from me, this is from our parent community, uh, that her reputation is such that she is known as a boy's second mother. And I'm going to ask her a few questions about her teaching role in a moment. Good morning, Amelia. Hello. Right, um, what, what do you enjoy about teaching the youngest boys at our school? Uh, I just love it. I love that I get to be a part of their very first experience. There is no other school year where you get to see their first excitement you get to see their confidence grow, the little pride on their face as they've realised that they can achieve what they've just done. It's really, really special and I feel very blessed. Mm. And I'd, I'd say it's one of the classes I enjoy visiting the most in the school as well. It's a know very that, special yeah. place. Right, you've, you've taught the, the prep class at our school, a prep class at our school for a number of years. Um, what, what do you see as the most important aspects in your role with what you have to deliver? Firstly, the most important is developing their self-esteem, their confidence, their sense of self, their independence, and their respect for themselves and respect for others. And then you can move on to the academic program. All right, thank you. And I guess moving into the academic program, what are the most important aspects for you as a teacher? Uh, again, I think it's confidence, mm -hmm. um, but foremost it's probably reading. If we can read, we are powerful, as you say, and we can achieve anything. So we can complete our maths, we can do our science, our geography and history, we can do our English when we can read. Mm. Oh, very true. Um, do you think boys are valued at our school and understood? <laughs> Absolutely. I would confidently say that we are experts in boys' education. Yep. We cater for their needs. There is a difference and having boys just here, we can cater specifically for their needs. They get to be little boys. And Indeed. as a mother of boys, I can see that all our little boys are really happy yeah. and they love coming here. I guess you get to see it through two lenses, don't you, as a mother of yes. boys here as well as a teacher too. Yes. All right, we're going to pause for a moment and move over somewhere else um, to show you really where Amelia sits for much of her teaching um, when the boys are on the floor. So the magic of TV, goodbye. All right, Amelia, you, you work with a particular approach to the teaching of reading, which has had some wonderful success um, this year. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about what it is and, and how that works? Sure. We use a synthetic phonics program which is a program where we quickly learn the initial sounds of the letters of the alphabet and then we learn to blend and segment. So blending is when we are squishing our sounds together like k at cat and then when we're segmenting we're using that for writing so k at. We learn that very quickly so that then we can read sentences and then move into whole text and with found huge success this year with this program. They are confident readers. They're not just looking at pictures, they're actually decoding, they're sounding out words. And we use that in a combination with sight words and our sight words are structured based on reading strategy. 
and so by bringing these two things together we have really found confident successful readers all right boys i think i better ask the question because this wasn't on the script put up your hand if you think your reading is going along nicely this year sarge what do you think yeah okay all right hands down that wasn't a setup for the camera as well i should point that one out too mrs grills why should parents consider sending their children to our school because it's the best and as parents we want the best for our children and this is the best place to have boys grow and develop academically, socially and mentally. As a parent I would not send my children anywhere else. Alright, thank you very much Amelia. See you next time.